so this is our final video of this presentation sa ating power monitoring system so as a feature of this system ang ginagawa niya is monitor yung uh, power consumption, voltage, current, power, at saka yung energy consumption ng isang lugar or ng uh, anything, let's say classroom o kaya uh, buong building if you want pero for our prototype, we'll be uh, monitoring power na kinoconsume nitong extension wire so anything na ilagay natin dito sa extension wire uh, makikita nitong system kung gaano kalakas yung voltage current, power, and energy na kinoconsume niya. So, ano-ano yung part ng system? The system includes this PZM0040 or uh, ginagamit natin for sensors sa power monitoring. This is a very uh, accurate one or precise one. And, uh, siya yung ginagamit talaga sa standard. We have this buzzer, okay, para pag umabot yung limit. And, we have this sensor shield, para maging maganda yung itsura ng ating wiring uh, Arduino Uno uh, SD card module micro SD module at nakikita natin nandito yung kanyang SD card so basically sa power monitoring kasi kailangan meron talaga siyang data logging so i-data log natin yun lahat ng readings will be saved dun sa SD card let's say nilagay mo itong system for one month lahat ng readings na nababasa niya isi-save niya doon so that you can uh, monitor Okay, so basically, ang power management kasi always starts with power monitoring. We have this green button. Actually, the green button is the same as that button. Okay, it, it's, it's used for reset. I-reset nyo daw yung reading. Let's say, umabot ka na ng limit. Let's say, gagamitin mo to siya as power limit, energy limiter. Let's say, i-limit ko yung energy for one, 150 kilowatt hour for this day. So, pag umabot siya ng 150 kilowatt hour, Let's say, magbabuzzer siya. Okay. So, kung gusto mong i-reset yun, you can just use this button or that button. <coughs> so, uh, this is the LCD. Dito natin dinidisplay yung mga readings natin. Okay. So, kung makikita mo, ang part kasama sa system is itong wiring na to Medyo complicated ng konti. Pero basically, uh, yung AC dadaan din dun sa sensor. Tapos, yung isang side ng sensor, ilalagay itong coil dun sa isang, dad, isang line ng kuryente, isang AC line ng kuryente. So, medyo uh, risky ito. I mean, medyo delikado ito, hazardous itong wiring. But because uh, nagawa na namin ito many times, so parang mas okay na sa amin to do this. But we don't uh, uh, prescribe na ibaguhin yung wiring ulit, especially dyan sa AC. Okay, it may cause you danger. So, this is the system. Uh, actually, what we plan is to cut it here. Putulin namin dito para ito lang yung matira. So that it will be easier for you to place it on a box. Or, sa presentation, we recommend you na ito talaga yung i-present so that the, the one, uh, they can see the how it is formed. Kung makita natin, medyo neat at clean naman siyang tingnan. At tsaka, pwede nyo i-explain yung schematic niya. Okay. So, let's start with the testing. So, ang ginawa namin prototype is that ang imamonitor niya is yung power na dumadaan dito sa extension wire. Okay? So, as you can see, uh, wala ang makasaksak dyan. Uh, ito, meron akong isang extension wire na nakakonect sa power line. Pero for now, walang nakasaksak dito. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko, since walang nakasaksak, i-power on ko ito. Okay? Uh, sasaksak ko to Itong, ano, turn on ko yung Arduino. Okay, so makita natin lagi. Okay, initializing device. So, makita natin na yung reading niya is 0 volts, negative pa yung ampere, negative power, negative energy. Ang meaning ng negative dyan is wala talaga siyang masense. So, it doesn't mean na negative current is it will flow 1 ampere to the opposite direction o kaya negative 1 watt is something like no no it's just meaning na wala siyang ma-detect okay yun kasi yung standard ng sensor kapag wala siyang ma-detect now what we will do is to test it kasi 0 volts kasi wala niwala talagang voltage dito na dumapasok okay 
So, isasaksak ko to dito sa may uh, okay, isasaksak ko siya dito sa may extension wire na connected sa power line. Okay. So, pagkasaksak natin, tignan natin yung reading nila dito. So, as you can see, from 0 volts na receive niya na after niya isaksak ng ating dito sa may extension uh, power line, makita natin na, yung, na, na measure niya yung voltage as 207.6 volts. That is the instantaneous voltage. Uh, yung 220 na standard natin is actually chain varying yun. Uh, being AC, alam natin na nagbabago-bago yung value ng voltage. So, as you can see, yung current is 0.00 ampere, yung power is 0 pa rin. Pero, kung makita mo yung energy, meron kong 81 watt R. So, what does this mean? No? So, walang current na dumadaan dito sa may extension wire. Simple, kasi wala naman talagang load na tayong nakasaksak sa kanya. So, big sabihin, wala siyang power consumption. Pero, pag hinayaan mo daw siyang ganito, okay, kahit hindi mo siya nakaturn, makita mo, meron siyang energy na kinoconsume. Okay? It doesn't mean na sinaksak mo lang yung device, tapos idle siya, meaning ng idle is hindi mo siya ginagamit, hindi na siya mag-consume ng energy. Actually, mag-consume yun siya. As you can see, aabot ng isang oras sa doob ng 1 hour, Magko-consume daw ito siya ng 81 watts. Although, baliit lang yun. Napakaliit lang niya. Pero, 81 watts is still uh, meron pa rin. So, big sabihin yung pa, uh, pa uh, mga appliances natin that, it will, that we are not using kahit hindi natin siya nakasa, hindi natin siya kinagamit. Basta nakasaksak siya kung nagko-consume siya ng energy. Although, maliit lang. Okay. So, what I'll do is isasaksak ko dito yung electric fan. Okay. Uh, may switch nga pala yung yung ating, ano, para mas madali natin ginagamit. So, may switch on, switch off siya. So, sasakasang ko ng electric fan. Okay. So, remember, class, kahit, uh, wala siyang current, pero, pag sinaksak mo yan sa power line, meron siyang voltage. Parang battery lang yan. No? Pag yung battery, hindi mo pa kinabit sa circuit, hindi ibig sabihin, uh, walang voltage yan. May voltage yung battery. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang potential difference. Yun nga lang, walang current kasi walang load na nakadikit. Okay? So, hindi big sabihin na walang current, wala rin voltage, hindi ganun. So, meron siyang voltage pero walang current kasi nga wala tayong load. So, kabit ako ng load, so ito turn on ko siya ngayon. Okay? So, I think narinig nyo na turn on yung electric fan. So, check natin yung ating reading. So, as you can see, nagkaroon na tayo ng current and the current is... 0.25 ampere yung power mo is 50 watts okay, actually fluctuating yan siya. AC is always like that okay, so nakita mo yung energy mo umaakyat na okay, so energy is accumulated meaning ng accumulated is habang uh, as you are using it it will increase and increase kasi energy lang naman is your, your amount of power na nakoconsume mo okay, so 49 watts means you are consuming 49 joules per second. So, sa energy mo naman, pag umabot daw ito ng 1 hour na ganito, consume ka ng 82. Actually, yung energy pataas ng pataas lang yan. So, yung current mo is 0 0.24-0.25 ampere. Uh, usually, sa mga motors, like uh, electric fan, ganun talaga yung current. Uh, parang pabago-bago siya. Okay. So, I think this is number 2. Na... Electric fan. So, ibig sabihin, pag nilagyan ko pa ng additional load, tataas lalo yung current and power. Okay, subukan natin i-turn off. So, pag tin-turn off, may delay lang yan sya ng konti. Pero makikita natin, after may turn off, yung current mo naging zero ulit. Yung power mo naging zero ulit. Okay, pero yung voltage will stay the same. So, meron pa rin namang voltage sa uh, extension wire. Pero yung current mo will become zero. So, turn on ko ulit. By the way, for this testing, for this video alone, ang ginawa natin is, nilagyan ko ng limit, energy limiter ng 83. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, 83 yung nilagay ko sa code. So, pwede natin ibaguhin yun. So, nakita natin, no? Okay. So, power monitoring system, energy limit, uh, energy limit reach. Okay, so, mag ganyan ang magaganyan yan ngayon. Kasi, umabot na siya ng 83 watt hour. Mabot na kasi ng 83. Kinode ko kasi siya as 83. Okay. So, tatanggalin ko na lang muna. 
So that's it. Okay, so pinatay ko din yung extension wire. Okay. And ito yung power line. Dito ko ilalagay yung electric fan. Okay. So now, <coughs> you've seen na pag umabot siya dun sa power limit niya na 83, uh, tutunog siya. Uh, ginawa kong 83 para mabilis natin siyang ma-reach. Actually, pwede natin siyang i-limit, let's say, buong bahay. Limit natin siya ng 1,000 watt hour or 1 kilowatt hour sa loob ng isang araw. Pag mabot siya ng 1 kilowatt hour, magbibip na siya ng magbibip. Ganun, iingay na siya ng magiingay na ganun. So, by the way, lahat ng readings na yon is being saved dito sa SD card. I cannot show it to you now kasi hindi ko siya malagay sa cellphone which I'm using sa video. But, I can send you the Excel reading. Uh, nakasave siya sa isang Excel, no? CSV format. Meaning, naka-Excel din siya. So, I guess that's all. Uh, this device can be used for uh, limiting energy consumption. Gusto mong i-limit yung consumption ng energy mo per day. Uh, pwede mo rin siyang gamitin para <coughs> kumbaga, the first step daw is for energy saving or energy management is monitoring. Paano mo, paano mo daw masisave yung isang bagay if hindi mo alam yung kanyang readings. Example, how can you save money if hindi mo alam kung ilang 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 ilan yung money na meron ka. So, something like that. So, kapag meron lahat ng rooms ng ganitong klaseng device or ganitong klaseng uh, system, uh, the rooms will be, <coughs> the rooms can be monitored uh, let's say, dadaan yung administration na nagmamonitor ng power. Makikita niya kung gaano kalakas yung current consumption, power consumption. Let's say, pumunta siya sa room, wala namang tao, tapos magkukonsume. So, that means, uh, madidetect niya or malalaman niya na this, this must be changed. This must be managed, something like that. Okay, so thank you for watching.